Hey, come on over guys. We've got a couple of projects to do right here back in the shop. Check it out. It's going to be good. Right here on my take on Home and Garden. Hey guys, welcome to the shop with those fluorescent lights that make me look like an alien or like I'm 90. <laughs> Here's the projects today. You remember getting the oil painting at the flea market and the vase at the old red barn. Now this is losing its moriagi, so this has to be sealed and coated. And I'm gonna do that outside and bring it back in and do my gold technique. All right, so this will get set aside just for now. Let's get the painting out of the frame. You know, I talked about this when we bought it. It is too dark and it's not our style as it sits. So we have four swing clips here holding this in. Okay, like that, and get the piece of art out of the frame. Here's a way to tell that this was hand done. The paint goes over around the edge of the frame. See here? And I looked at that in the field. Now, if this was a photocopy or something really phony, it wouldn't have that overpainting on the edge. All righty, so that'll help you think when you're buying. This is quite nice. I was really thrilled with it. And let's do our gold technique here today. I'm going to get several things. I'm going to get a little roller, a little sponge pad, maybe a couple, and I'm going to clean this out, make sure everybody can see. Get that beading cleaned out. Don't want somebody else's dust in the work. Then, of course, our incredible folk art metallic acrylic finish in the pure gold. And this is an accent paint. Shake it up a bit. And I'm going to probably handle these two areas separately. You see here the beading I'm going to look at first, and then there's the other. Now, why I don't have to spray this again is because it's all dark. That's the secret behind the bronzing technique or any of these techniques that I show you. Let's start with some gold. Look at this. Just going over the top of that beading work is making my day. <laughs> and just inside that little edge, see this? That's why I like the sponge. It gives you several surfaces to use. Small, big, bigger. And you control what you're doing and what size you're using. And what I'm telling you about just going over the top of this is to keep that antique look. You know, we don't want to lose that. We're not spray painting it solid like like it's uh, the side of your house, you know. The bulk of the frame first here. I was pretty sure I could just go over what was here. And again, I'm not trying to fill it all in because I want that antique effect. I'll guarantee you this will probably take two coats. Now I'm going to 
catch this all up and show you where we're at. Doing mostly a light dusting for the first coat here to get that Moriaggi sealed and stop it from falling off. And I'm trying not to cover the rusty section. Okay guys, I've got the frame done, I think. Let's get that painting back in there. After a little dry time. Put those four retainers back. Let's see how we look. Now there's the difference. I'm thinking I like my frame better. <laughs> now we're gonna get our vase back inside after drying. We're gonna put the gold on there. I'm gonna lightly go over this. I don't wanna go down in the joints. That's why the flat sponge instead of a brush and you can see the difference here so I'm really loving this so far if I do come into this coppery rusty field I can wipe it off quick but I'm trying not to I'm not wanting to do that any of the gold. We'll do enough here for you so you can see. And then, of course, I'll save you all that agony of watching and get this all caught up. This whole field and the bottom ring will get the gold. And I'm using my dabbling technique, of course, so I don't get too much. I just want to get a good amount so you can see how I'm doing it. Then we'll look at the whole finished thing. And folks, I only really used two products today in our makeover. Pure Gold by Folk Art and this is at your hobby stores or your Uncle Wally's. Wonderful. Not overpriced and I used maybe a fifth of a bottle on both projects. It's, it's in my amazing. <laughs> it's amazing too. <laughs> also, satin in my favorite color the dark walnut. Now you can use black, brown, but my favorite is the satin dark walnut by Rust-Oleum. Give you that edge on making your stuff look good and last. 
Okay, folks, there's our finished look. Now, what else can I say? I think it's better than what I started with. And if you agree, I'll tell you what, get this up here. All you have to do is give us a like, a share, a comment, and let us know what you think. Remember what I paid for these. And if you don't remember, you can look at the video where we got them. Take care now, everybody. Be good. And we'll see you in the next amazing makeover. But I think you're going to see me decorate the living room. Come decorate with me. Bye now. See you soon.